wonder what is real is this really what i feel is it what i've been saying hello my jesus leaves i know it is not far from our soul i know when it will arrive you know what we know that how redeemer I know, I know, I am very sure. I know it is not far from us. I know when he will arise. The whole world will know that our Redeemer live. Hello, hello, my beautiful and wonderful people out there. How are you all doing today? I know you're fine to the glory of the Lord. I know you're fine. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody, nobody. We are more than conqueror. Yes. So today, I'm going to be talking about what my spirit has me to say. And I, I, I have been saying it, but yesterday my spirit keep on pushing me. You have to say it again and again. Let me tell you one thing. You know the time that... Noah, God has Noah to go and tell, to go and say to the people, repent, repent, repent from your ways. You know, they were looking Noah. They said, what, what is this man saying? Is he a drunkard or is he stupid or is he this or is he that? They refused to hearken to Noah's voice. Today is still happening, whether you like it or not. Let me tell you one thing. There is no sin. That is too big that God cannot forgive you. You that feel that my sin is too big. What I have committed is too big. God cannot forgive me. That is where you get it wrong. God will forgive you. If you read 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. He said, if my people which are called by my name. Which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways you see you have to pray and turn away from your wicked ways those things that you are doing that you know that is is bringing wickedness to others is bringing wickedness to you is wickedness you have to turn away from it that's what you see Somebody that has been armed robber since all these years, he can come to repentance today and turn away from his wicked ways. He will make heaven. You will see that you that is in, in church for years, that hold on for all forgiveness in, in your heart, that holds anger in your heart, that hold a lot of things in your heart, you will see that you will not make heaven. It's not me that is, that is judging it. It's not me that is saying it. But God has me to tell you today to turn away from your wicked ways. Turn away from your wicked ways. Turn away from those things that you know that is not, is not pleased to God. You see today, we are asking for mercy. Fine, it's good to ask for mercy. But God said we should pray and turn away from our wicked ways. You see the story of Zacchaeus. When Zacchaeus met with Jesus, Zacchaeus had to turn, turn those things, all those things that he has taken, all those money, all those, all those uh, uh, things that he has taken from people, he was returning it. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Which sin do you feel that you have committed that is too much that God cannot forgive you? Do you know that when Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, we are eating in your house today. I will be in your house today. Do you know the people around were saying, this one, this sinner, he was, he's a sinner. What is Jesus going to do there? What is he going to do there? Let me tell you one thing. There is no case that Jesus cannot forgive. There is nothing that you did wrong that Jesus cannot forgive. What did you need to do is to admit, God, I have done this. Please, daddy, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. If you can reach some people, reach them to have some forgiveness. If you cannot reach some, just say, God, forgive me and turn away from your ways. Can we continue to dwell in sin for grace to abide? We say we are under the grace. We are under the grace. Fine, we are under the grace. Shall we continue in sin for grace to abide? No. You must, re you must return some ways. Those your, those your wicked ways must have to go. 
He must have to go. Do you know that when you are going to return those, when you are going to go away from those wicked ways, it's very difficult because you know why? The devil knows who you are. The devil knows that you are a great person. The devil knows that God has sent you to win a lot of soul with your character, with your behavior, with the way you talk. But the devil will not let you to go. You are the one that will fight it all through. Say, no, devil, you are dead with me for so long. I am going. No matter what I have done before, if you are a robber before, you are a prostitute before, whatever you have done before, you are a liar, you do all sorts of things, you do abortion, you do a lot of things, devil, I don't care if you want to use it against me later, but all I know, God says I should have some mercy, he will forgive me. I have to ask for this mercy. I have to take this bold step. That is the bold step I want you to take right now. Because tomorrow might be too late. Tomorrow might be too late. You see, when you want to repent, something keep on telling you. You want to forgive people. You want to turn away from those things. Something keep on telling you. No, it's not yet time. Maybe tomorrow. It's not yet time. Maybe next tomorrow. It's not yet time. Maybe. You see, the devil will start holding you back. <coughs> Sorry. The devil will start holding you back not to turn away from those things. Ah, the Bible says, you sh it, it, say, it said the unrighteousness. If you read 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9, it said, know it not. That the unrighteousness shall never inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteousness, they shall never inherit the kingdom of God. Today we do Christian malice. Your sister, your brothers offend you in the church, in the area. You will keep malice for years. Oh my God, you will not forgive. Who do you want to, where do you think you are going to? You have to forgive, you have to let go. I said it before when I read it in Mark, in Mark 11 verse 25. He said when you have offense against your brother or your sister, you want to go and drop an offering in the offering bus. He said you have to drop the money at one side. Go back and say sorry and settle it with your sister or with your brother and come back to give offering. How many of us are doing it today? We do, uh, we do Christian malice. We have to turn from those ways. Turn from those ways. Turn from those ways. Tomorrow might be too late. God is not judging you. God is not judging me. What God wants for us is to just turn away. No matter what people will say. Ah, what is she saying? She was an amiable before I know her. She was a prostitute before. That is people saying it, not Jesus. Not every word of man will be lying in, the, in, in your area, in your life, and the word of God will be truth. Because it's God that forgives. If God is God that is God that forgive and don't use it against you. Do you see the woman, the prostitute woman? Do you see when people want to cast the prostitute, they want to cast stone to, to her, they want to stone her to death? Yeah, she has seen. We have to stone her. That is the way the world behaves. They want to kill you, they want to fight you, they want to bruise you, they want to bruise you. But you see, our father is a merciful father, is a lovely father. You see, if you know you have not you have not seen before, cast the first stone. You see, they start dropping their stone. That is why I'm here today to talk to you, to talk to me that our God is a lovely father. He will not reject you. Don't be thinking inside your room. Are you sure God is going to forgive me? Are you sure this my sin is not too much? Oh my God, what will I do? I don't think that God will forgive me. I better remain this way. No. That is what the devil wants. The devil wants to hold people captive. The devil wants them to be there. The devil wants them to see the truth and still sit down on it. The devil wants them to see the truth and still sit down on it. You have to turn away. Turn away. The Bible says we should turn away. When we pray, we turn away from our wicked ways. It will heal our land. Today, when you, when you confess the word of God, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. In him will I trust. But he says, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and turn away. When you turn away, that is the time you will know that you are under the shadow of the Almighty. That is the time you will know that you will say of the Lord, is your refuge and your fortress. Turn away. It's never too late. Let people mock you. Did this person know what she's doing? Yesterday she was against these people. Today she's playing with them. Yes, that is repentance. That is you don't keep on going with those things you are doing. That is repentance. People might say, oh, the people that she, he was killing, but now he's dining with them. That is repentance. 
That is what God wants us to do. Repent. Turn away from your wicked ways. After death is judgment. There is hell. There is heaven. Whether you like it or not, if you escape hell, if you escape heaven, you will not escape hell. If you escape hell, you will not escape heaven. We have to turn away. We have to start living right as a Christian. This is not the time to compromise. This is not the time to say, no, 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 no. Because I dress and put this, I do this, I'm a Christian. No. No. This is the time to worship God in truth and in spirit. A time to worship God in truth and in spirit. God, don't walk by your sight. If you like, don't comb your hair. You are a sinner, you are going to heaven. If you like, wear the most beautiful shirt. If you are a sinner, you are going to heaven. If you like, dress the way you feel that you want to be noticed. If you, if you are a sinner, you are going to hell fire. If, if you are a sinner, sorry, you are going to hell fire. The God wants us to repent. He wants us to repent. Today we are, we, we are crying for all the things that is happening in the whole wide world. We thank God that we can still ask for mercy. Do you know the time of Noah? Those people that was that, 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 that the water washed away. There was no time for them. That the flood washed away. There was no time for them to ask for mercy again. There was no time. There was no time. A lot of people are still having strong heart like Pharaoh. They refuse to let go. This is the time to change. God, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me. I will turn away from my wicked ways. When you turn away from your wicked ways, you start dealing with those people that people feel that you cannot deal with. And they start murmuring you. They start complaining. Is it not this person she talked about yesterday? Now is her friend. Is this friend? Don't worry. You know you have repented. God has written something good about you. Don't worry. But repent. That is what God wants. Don't run away. Come to him. He will receive you. Cry to him. He will receive you. This time that you are staying in the house, this time we are staying in, this, in the house, that is the time for you to think. That is the time for you to reoccur. That is the time for you to, to think the, the area <coughs> that you are not doing well. To say, God, this way I am not good. Have mercy upon me. I have, to re I have to change it this way. Change and change. People that are around you might call you foolish. Don't worry. Change to the glory of God. Thank you for watching today. Don't be afraid that... You see, today, I want to use this one to encourage you, people that, that know the Lord, that they are serving, that, that is right with God, that says, God, what is happening? God, what is happening? God, what is happening? Our God is still with us. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There is a song I love that a, a, a lady sang. She said, I know my Jesus lives. <laughs> I know it is not far from our soul. I know when he will arise, the whole world will know that our Redeemer lives. I know, I know, I'm very sure. I know it is not far from our soul. I know my Savior lives. The whole world we know that my Redeemer lives. Our God lives. I pray for you today. May God continue to guide you, strengthen you, protect you, make His face to shine upon you and your household in Jesus' name. The sickness that is going around today. Remember, the word of God says, the vision we see before, we shall see them no more. He said, hold your peace. I will fight for you. Hold your peace. God will fight for you. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb, you are fruitful. If you are looking for a job, you have it. If you are sick, you are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching today. Bye-bye. Next time, we stay. It's never too late to say, I'm sorry and turn away from your ways. Bye-bye.